You wrote a piece, June 26th issue of The Nation magazine with Bill Fletcher about the lessons from Wisconsin. Talk about hopes and disappointments. The top lessons in your view, what were they? I think the top lesson in our view is that there's not enough internal radical political education taking place inside of America's unions. That's the, if there was one thing that we have to do differently, it's actually trust that our rank and file can handle a lot of information and that the rank and file of the unions will know what to do with. Like real facts, real information, what's really happening, um, and participatory radical education, sort of Freirean style. You know, one thing I should back up and say in terms of the introduction is I worked at a place called the Highlander Center um, for many years when I was very young. And I'm quite sure that my bias as an organizer towards intense levels of education for the rank and file comes from being in my mid-20s and working at the most prestigious adult education center uh, in this country. Um, you know, that was the heart of the civil rights movement and et cetera. So, and, and that Highland Center was also, which most people don't even know, it was the CIO's official labor education school in the 30s and 40s. So with that background to my early years of work, uh, by the time I hit the labor movement, I had a very strong philosophy that I trusted the workers. If you trust the workers and you actually present a framework that they can begin to understand, this isn't just the boss in the third shift, by the way, uh, it's the corporation you're working for. And then if you can help them go from the corporation they're working for, from the boss on the third shift, you can connect up the dots to there's this larger system of oppression that's taking place in this country uh, dressed up as free enterprise. Mm. I was trained by someone named Jerry Brown, who is now retired, head of, formerly head of 1199 New England, which was a communist-based union that uh, continued, even though they broke with Stalin, et cetera, et cetera, they continued the organizing tradition that came out of the Communist Party in the 30s, which is deep organizing. It starts with trusting the workers. So when I became a union organizer, and I'd been organizing already, I've become a union organizer, okay, what do I need to know? Organizing to me is the same wherever you're doing it, but there are rules you have to learn. Uh, there's different way the rules operate. So Jerry Brown, uh, who I credit enormously for a lot of brilliant labor work in his time, said to me, trust the workers, McAlevey, treat them like grown-ups, and run the union. Thank you.